We're going to talk about the top 10 best places to live in Alabama. Yes, there are a lot of online lists that talk about the best places to live in Alabama, but there's something wrong. They probably never been to Alabama, but they're making these online lists and they have no idea what they're talking about. Also, these lists are centered around statistics and there's two areas that have the best statistics. So you'll get like 10 suburbs that are all in the same place. I'm going to give you guys a real top 10 list of the best places to live in Alabama. And it's going to make sense. It's not going to be 10 suburbs that are right next to each other. That is ridiculous. I don't know who makes these lists. They need to get fired. Now, I made lists about Florida, and they're up to like half a million views. And the Florida list, I had to redo it and update it. So as I travel Alabama more, now that I'm here, I will redo this list and update it. So if you have suggestions to make or adjustments, please leave your comments. Are you guys ready for this list? Number 10 is Dauphin, Alabama. This is a great place to retire. Being in the southern region of Alabama, it's got some of the best weather. If you're looking for an alternative to retiring in Florida that's more affordable, Dauphin, Alabama may be the place for you. It's not too far from the beaches in Florida. You are less than two hours from the amazing beaches of the Gulf Coast in Florida. With really warm weather, palm trees, it's got that Florida feel even though it's in Alabama. If you're a young person looking to save money, whether you're buying or renting, the ratio of income versus rent is very agreeable. You're not going to make a whole lot, but you're also not going to need a whole lot. The Starbucks line in the morning is about 30 minutes. People must have a lot of time on their hands if they can wait that long for a Starbucks. While the center of the city is not the best area, there's like a loop that goes around the city and kind of the best parts along commerce and residential areas are kind of outside of the circle. So make sure you don't end up right in the middle of the action. It's a great little city with probably some of the best weather in Alabama. And if you're looking for affordability, buying, renting, a young couple, looking to save money or somebody in retirement with a fixed income this could really be a great place for you especially if you don't want to be slipping on ice awesome option number nine is the birmingham suburbs we're talking about hoover we're talking about homewood and like 20 other suburbs that are just in the south side of Birmingham. there's a lot of work in birmingham but it's not a great place to live unless you're yes on the south side of that mountain that separates the city from the suburbs and it's really a great area to be there's a lot of shopping I spent some time there in Homewood it's a beautiful little town when you get on the highway there's all types of work trucks and the real estate is expensive in some areas the views from the mountains are amazing you're gonna pay for those views the real estate is expensive and statistically this is the best area of Alabama of course when you make statistics up this is the only thing that exists in Alabama according to these websites because they're looking at the highest incomes and basically there's like 10 suburbs all next to each other so if you look at some of these online lists you would think that's the only thing that exists in Alabama. It's a nice area but there's a lot more to Alabama than just these 10 little suburbs. I will be honest some of these houses are into the four and five hundred thousand dollar range if I was going to spend that much money on a property, it probably wouldn't be a suburb of Birmingham. That's why it's not on the top of this list, even though according to statistics it is. We're giving you a real life idea of the best places to live in Alabama, not some statistical crap that a computer generated. So whether you're in Mountain Brook or Homewood or whatever other suburb you are south of Birmingham, these are all great areas. I do think it's a little bit overpriced for being a suburb of Birmingham, but that's my own personal opinion, and that's why I'm going to keep this really low on the list. These are nonetheless really nice areas. Birmingham is a really attractive alternative to Atlanta, since it is a little bit cheaper in the nice areas. It's a little bit less chaotic. It's got good stuff going for it, um, but I do think that the city of Birmingham, which is like the center of it all, 
um, has a lot of crime, I toured the city myself, and there's pretty much nothing impressive to see there, and it's happening in Birmingham, it's happening in Montgomery, it's happening in a lot of cities in the south where the action, the real good attractive areas, or not to say themselves, but some suburb that grows really well, and then that kind of becomes the new hub of the city, and it's happening all over Alabama, so that's something you should know. It's got the full big city package. These little suburbs have traffic, especially considering that the mountains separate the towns and the roads in a really weird way. They can just make a flat road heading in a direction. You have to wind through country roads and up and down hills. The traffic is horrible. It's kind of like a big city feel, big city prices. It's really got that city feel if that's what you're into. Personally, if I was going to go for that feeling, it wouldn't be in Alabama, but hey, to each their own, it is a majestically beautiful area. And if you're into a field like where you can make a lot of money, like you're a contractor or something like that, then I can definitely see why this area would be attractive to you. But there's so much more to Alabama. Let's see what else is out there, guys. Moving on to number eight. A place that has more history than Birmingham, but not quite those beautiful mountain views. Yes, these mountain views is what makes Birmingham amazing beautiful but let's move on to number eight number eight is the east side of montgomery alabama montgomery alabama is a city with so much history but it's also a city that has some inner city stuff going on and to be honest it seems like everybody is moving out of montgomery to some suburbs on the north side of the river and towards the east side of montgomery basically people are fleeing the city of Montgomery for crime and for newer housing. Don't get me wrong, the best jobs in the area are in Montgomery. You just don't want to be in the middle of it all. Just like in many parts of the United States, people are rather moving out into the suburbs. The east side of Montgomery is an area I would actually recommend somebody to move to. Again, Montgomery is a city that has its fair share of issues with high crime, uh, extremely high murder rates. It's a lot of bad stuff going on, but the east side of the city is actually really decent. Anything east of 231 and around Taylor Road is really nice. This area is about half white, half African American. I strongly recommend this area for African Americans who want opportunity. I really feel that the city of Montgomery offers a lot of opportunity to African Americans as far as fair options and work but with rent so affordable you can actually make it here so if you're a young couple looking to save money and kind of get an opportunity to move ahead this is definitely the place for you it's got everything you want from Publix to Whole Foods lots of shopping opportunities everything you need you're gonna find in the east side of Montgomery it's an awesome area I almost moved into this area so one of the first areas I looked at in Alabama because of the affordable housing out here it's incredible for a hundred thousand dollars you can get a really decent suburban house where else in the united states can you get a decent nice livable house in the suburbs for less than a hundred thousand dollars if you're looking for affordability and opportunity this is really the place for you a lot of people that live in montgomery tell me they don't like to go out at night and uh, so once it gets dark you kind of want to have your day wrapped up and go home you will hear gunshots occasionally. You will see metal bars on the windows like you will in Tampa or Miami or Orlando or Atlanta. So it's just like any big city. Don't let the complacency of some of the local people and their opinions about the place. If you're a positive minded person, you're going to succeed no matter where you go. You know, it's mindset. Some people just have the mindset that they're not going to get anywhere. So, don't let that influence you. Yes, when you go on the internet, it's a lot of people that have so many bad things to say about this area. Also, Rosa Parks is from Montgomery. Lots of history here. Like, way too much history. We'll do more videos on that in the future. Number seven is Millbrook, Alabama, a suburb of Montgomery, just to the north. This suburb's got a lot of great stuff going for it. And it's one of the places where the people fleeing Montgomery are heading to. One of the things that people are really uh, fleeing Montgomery for is for their bad school systems. Millbrook has great schools, great communities, great suburban areas, new housing, and affordability. According to USA Today, Millbrook is the best place to live in Alabama. And that's based on a more logical standpoint of what you get for your money. In other words a more realistic understanding of what you get paid what you're actually going to pay for your housing kind of a more balanced view of course some of the suburbs that other lists online have as being the best 
you're really paying a lot of money to live in those communities and for that kind of money you could really do better elsewhere but it really seems hard to beat the price and what you get with Millbrook, Alabama, you can really stretch your money here. And it's right next to Prattville, which has everything you're ever going to need. Although Millbrook does have a Walmart, it has a Winn-Dixie, it has just about everything you're going to need. Very nice, quiet, rural settings. I would definitely avoid Main Street on the south side of town. It's kind of older, but it, once you get on Highway 14, it's newer stuff. And if you go a little bit further north, you have Deetsville. Now, Deetsville is another place that I really recommend for people looking to retire, especially those that want to be out in the countryside. If you want to be out in the countryside, away from people, and just be retiring in a really rural place, I would really recommend this little town. There's not much to it. It's a really small place, but it's far out. You'll get a great deal on a house, and if you're about 15, 20 minutes from Prattville or something like that, then you can go in town for whatever you need. Awesome place to retire affordably. Number five is Madison, not Madison, Wisconsin. It's another great little town. What is it about places called Madison and being good? Except for Madison, Florida. That That's one that wouldn't really qualify as a good example of a Madison. But overall, Madison's are pretty good cities. And I went to school with a girl called Madison, and she was a pretty nice girl. And she would say stuff to me like, um, you have no chance, so don't even try. Overall, the Huntsville area is statistically the, the best place you can be in Alabama. But I have a little prejudice called cold weather. It's way on the north end of Alabama. And there's only so much cold weather that I want to put up with. And a lot of investors, you listen to like Grant Cardone, a lot of these big investors, they're telling you, hey, we're going to invest in the big smiley face called the Sun Belt. It goes from like the Carolinas through the south back up to Nevada and California. It's a big smiley face along the southern region of the United States. And Madison's kind of pushing it into the area where it kind of gets a little colder. That's why the Huntsville area isn't going to get too much representation on my list. A Cuban cafe, which Birmingham and Montgomery don't have. So, it seems like there's a lot of good stuff going on in this little town. Not affordable, but really good. Number four is Auburn, Alabama. With Auburn University, this is a very young, very hip, very fun place. Even on like a Sunday when most of Alabama is sleeping, there's a lot going on in Auburn. If you're young and you really want to be in a nice, affordable, hip place. Um, actually, I wouldn't even call it affordable. I mean, it's affordable if you're a student and you're going to go into student housing. But if you're buying real estate here, it's actually kind of expensive. So it's a place where like it seems cheaper to rent, but not so cheaper to buy. So we lived here for like two weeks while we were waiting to do the paperwork on our house in Montgomery area. And we really liked the place. Uh, it feels just like Florida, you know, like big city. You got everything you want from Panera's to Starbucks. Just like every little, you know, city stuff you want is there. The places are open till late at night. And it's a really safe, clean city. And that is really important, especially in the south of the United States. For the prices of Auburn, you can almost live in Naples, Florida or Jupiter in Florida. Or a place that's a little bit more beachy. So I don't get why somebody who wants that type of i guess maybe i i don't know i i, I really don't know the person who would want to move here other than kids trying to get their education and not get robbed in the process and i guess if your kids are going to school and you want them in a clean sane environment you don't want them exposed to a bad environment while they're going through their educational process it's, it's a whole lot better than Ocala. It's a whole lot better than Tallahassee. It's a whole lot better than Gainesville. So if your kids are going to school and you want to put them in a place where you want to make sure they're not around bad environment and they're around people who are trying to actually succeed in life, not get drunk and end up on a sidewalk taking a shirt off or something like that, then this, this would probably be the place. How did so many blonde people end up in one place? Number three is Shelby County. Again to the south of Birmingham, but a little bit further south. This county has the highest income in Alabama at over 81000 for a family. That's even higher than Collier County, Florida, which is the richest county in Florida. So the richest county in Alabama is actually richer than the richest county in Florida, if you can wrap your brain around that. Something ain't right with incomes in Florida. But this is another suburb of Birmingham but way further out and it's really nice there's a lot of rural communities really high income really nice places it's a great place to be lots of money moving lots of commerce 
and it's got really amazing rural views so it's like a really nice country place and to be honest anything between Birmingham and Montgomery along 65 it seems like a really nice stretch of little towns and cities so if you want a really nice place with good income in Alabama this is your area number two is Prattville Alabama being a little bit bigger of a town it's got just about everything you're going to need. It's got a historic center, which is beautiful, with a creek that flows through the middle of the town. This city has uh, a historical district that has a lot of history to it. Daniel Pratt first came here, and it's why it's called Prattville, because it's named after Daniel Pratt. This man was an absolute genius. He came here, and he started to make a gin factory. Now, I'm not talking about cotton gin. I'm talking about... He was making the engines that the cotton gins were using. So this guy, I mean, Alabama, Prattville, Alabama, in the, like the 1800s, this was like a Dubai or a New York when it came to industry. I mean, they were making the machines that processed the cotton that made Alabama the most important place because people in Russia, people in France were waiting for the cotton from Alabama. The entire world economy was wrapped around the work that Daniel Pratt did. That's why this town is very proud to hold his name. He didn't really take sides with the North or the South, but he did supply the South with stuff they needed during the Civil War. And after the Civil War, some of his slaves invested in his companies, which kind of signals two things to me. First, that his slaves didn't really hate the guy. And two, that if they were able to invest, that Daniel Pratt left his slaves a considerable amount of uh, money and then not only that but they were actually able to settle in the center of town in Alabama in the 1800s the slaves that were freed by Daniel Pratt were able to invest and have houses in the middle of Prattville that must have been a massive statement about the man what he believed in and what he did for himself and for his community it's an amazing history to have for equality. The town is charming, and it's got really good environment. It's got low crime. It's said by the locals to be the fastest growing city in Alabama. I don't know if that's statistically correct, but that's what everybody in this vicinity kind of generally believes, that it's the fastest growing city in Alabama. I definitely don't doubt it. It's not a place of extreme wealth, but it's a place where the working class person can have a very decent standard of living the city sits on a plateau overlooking montgomery and most people who live here probably work in montgomery awesome town you'll love it great place to be i definitely recommend it number one is baldwin county if i was going to do a city by city baldwin county would take like seven of the ten easily it's definitely the best place to be in alabama I would have moved here except for I wanted to be in a central reg region of the state. That's why I ended up in the Prattville area because I really wanted to be in an area where I can shoot in any direction. And being near the water, you have the threat of hurricanes. You also have the fact that I, I need to be in a centralized place. And because it's by the water, you can't really drive into the water to do stuff. So it didn't work out for me. And I do have a little bit of a regret that I didn't end up here, to be honest. The beaches are amazing on par with anything you're going to find in Florida. And whether it's like Spanish Fort or Daphne or whatever town you end up in this county, this county is amazing. It's got the fourth highest income in the state. And there's a Facebook group called Moving to Baldwin County where the locals will help you settle down there. Now, one of the complaints is that the people that are moving to this place on that Facebook group is that they're not making as much money as they thought they were. But if you're thinking about making a lot of money, then you don't want to think about Alabama, period. You might want to be somewhere else. Not sure how they associated Alabama with high incomes, what they were thinking exactly. But uh, yeah, that's one of the most common complaints is that people moving here thought they were going to make $18, $20 an hour. Not in Alabama. In the $700 to $3 million price range, there's properties directly on the water on amazing beaches and water access. If you're in that price range and you've been thinking about Florida, but think thinking things are a little bit too expensive in Florida, you would really want to look into like the Gulf Coast of Alabama. It's absolutely amazing. It's a great travel destination. It's a great place to live. The people are friendly. The cities are clean. Everything out here is just what you would want on par with Florida. So Baldwin County, Alabama, I definitely recommend it as a clean, safe, 
awesome place, awesome people. Definitely, hands down, the best place to live in the Alabama state. And even if I had gone city by city, they would have totally wiped out the list and it would have been like a, a complete win for this county. Look in the Baldwin County, awesome places, great people. That's Alabama for